someone watching you. For everyone to settle down. And guest Toastmasters from our fellow clubs in the area. Is someone watching me? That's where you should Last started. Tuesday, I was awakened in a small, dingy, very unattractive hotel room in Wasi, Ghana, West Africa. And I leaped out of bed when I remembered that hey. today we're going leaped. deep into the bush forest. And so I prepared myself and ran downstairs and threw our backpacks into the trunk of the small blue BMW 318i, version 1993. We jumped into the car, we're so excited about our day, we're painfully disappointed when Great the car did not start. So we got out and three of us pushed the car across the <laughs> courtyard. The driver popped the clutch. It awesome. would not start because there was not enough room to move the car forward. So we pushed it back up the hill again Open wide the double creaking metal gates into a <laughs> dusty, hot, dirty street. That's a triad. Which was inclined downward, which was perfect. So we pushed the car out, got behind it, got some speed. The driver popped the clutch again, the tire screeched, See? the motor coughed, and then began to run smoothly. There's another one. And we were elated. We got in and we were ready to get on the road, which we did. Eight and a half minutes later, we the neutral the pace. Deal. The second Got car, asymmetric movements. Cars to find a large tractor trailer coming our way, on our side, and his trailer had overturned, was I totally blocking the highway. It had been carrying a large load of cement bags. Oh goodness! <laughs> now its trailer was on the side, crumpled, twisted, like a broken toy. Twisted as adjectives are. The awesome. cars rapidly piled up on either side. And the truck from the other direction decided, yes, there's room. I can sneak around and I'm watching. I'm, I'm going, there he goes, there he goes. Wow. And he turns over and logs go everywhere. Now people <laughs> are yelling and screaming and arguing. And guardians, they get right in there each other's go. face. And they the get very loud. And you're expecting violence to break out at any moment. And I've never seen anyone touch another person, but they get very loud and very heated. And these are people that had nothing to do with what was going on, but everybody had to do with it, including me, and I explained course. how this would have to transpire to correct the situation, which they did, exactly. And about an hour plus later, the road was clear, we got back in the car and headed toward the deep bush. That was a long part, uh, a long interval. Suddenly I was startled by a question. What would have happened so, made if our car back. had started immediately that morning when we were preparing to leave? It's highly likely we could have topped that hill at a high rate of speed with no place to go, no way to could evade, there. no options. We could have found ourselves right in the middle of that scene. I would not be speaking here tonight. Oh, that's a nice gesture for the oh, gesturing to sell. If somebody watching over me, and I said, yes, I believe so. On Wednesday, we're making a trip to another area, and we stop for fuel, which, by the way, is $16 a gallon. That makes you feel better. And I'm in the back seat. My place of honor is in the front, and everywhere I go, they insist I ride in the front. I insist I ride in the back because there's more room. Nice job. <laughs> I have to enjoy myself. So I'm sitting in the back seat, and usually the first thing I do when the car stops is I quickly roll the window down to allow any breezes that might be available to Jenny walk through the car. <laughs> and for this, for some reason, some well, no apparent reason, choice. I didn't roll the window down. And the attendant reaches for the hose to fuel the car and turns, and when she does, a torrent of explosive, pungent gasoline splashes all over my window across the top of the car and across the trunk. And immediately, explosive. my friends and associates started running around, 
They're upset, they're confused, chaos, pandemonium is happening everywhere. They're grabbing towels, racks, trying to wipe the car off, and I'm sitting there the vocabulary. quietly observing the chaos, hoping that the hot exhaust does not ignite. <laughs> <laughs> that All is crazy. well, we wash the car, we start down the road. I asked myself again. Okay, we've had two stories. Is someone watching over me? What if I did what I always do? Put the window down. My face is looking outward. Can you imagine the full load of gasoline in my face, on my clothes? I have a phone charger. It would have really been a different story today. The next day, I keep smelling gasoline. Great. And I say to my host, I know we washed the car. Maybe we need to wash the tires. Maybe the tires are smelling. It was a long road trip, five or six hours. Finally, I'm laying down in the back seat. If you can imagine, the seat is like this. I'm laying down in the back seat with my pillows, and I'm trying to get some sleep on this very dark, dusty, bumpy road all the way back to Accra. And the gasoline is just smelling strong. And the next day, while an associate of, my, of mine and myself were looking at some equipment, our driver took the car up to the shop. They decided to take the back seat out. I go up there, what's the back seat out for? Because the fuel pump is right under where I'm sitting in the back seat. And they take okay. the top off and gas is leaking out of the fuel pump. Okay. I'm thinking, sure I'm glad I didn't drop a joint down there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was out of there. <laughs> Someone is watching over me. Recently, my oldest son said, Dad, you know, you can't keep doing this. Eventually, the law of averages are going to catch up with you. As you go to Mindanao, kidnapping is a business. You go here, you go there. <laughs> and, you know, I plan to live another 43 years. That will put me at 103. I don't want to be like a man by the name of Joseph that called all his family in, they had this big family meeting, told all of his 12 sons what he expected of them. It's arbitrary, but sounds specific. Bade them good night and then just went to bed, drew his feet up beneath him, and died. What a way to go. But should <laughs> something tragic occur, which may not in itself be tragic, I've lived a great life, a wonderful life, a fun, fulfilling life, and I'd rather go doing something I'm enjoying and helping somebody else because through the process, I've been doing this. Rather Someone go doing an evaluation over me. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.